We do want to begin in Toronto, and this is where police this afternoon are asking for witnesses to come forward after a shooting at a one year old's birthday party. Three of the victims are children, all of whom were rushed to hospital. Dale Minucknuck has the latest now. I'm just on Tanridge Crescent in Rexdale, which is a community just north of downtown Toronto, where, as you mentioned, children were injured in the shooting last night. An 11 year old boy, a five year old girl, and a one year old baby boy, a 23 year old man, was also shot in the leg. The police say that the five year old girl is the only one who was critically injured and she remains in hospital. They did provide an update to the media. Here's what Superintendent Ron Taverter had to say. No, we don't believe at all that children were were the targets of this. Uh, as far as motive, I can't say right now because as you just said, there are a number of theories out there. Uh, a number of people have their own ideas of, of uh, why this happened, some of, some of the people in the area. So we're just uh, trying to work all, all through that. And I can tell you that we have the resources to solve this crime and we will solve it. Now, police do continue to investigate. They are looking for multiple suspects, multiple shooters who they believe fled on foot southbound towards a getaway car. They haven't released any descriptions yet of the suspects or the vehicle, Michael. Now, talk to us about what we are hearing from people in the community. Of course, shocking to anyone waking up to this news, but what are people in the community saying? Yeah, you're already in, buddy. Yeah, this community is absolutely shaken by what took place. Um, many of the people didn't want to speak to the media except to say that they're afraid that if they did, that they could wind up targeted next. But there's a lot of relief also that the outcomes weren't any worse. A lot of people saying that that could have been my child. One of the women we, women we spoke to, she was at the party and her son, she says, is really good friends with a five-year-old who was critically injured in the hospital. One of the friend family member that was uh, ha he took off his shirt and was uh, putting compress on the uh, the wound, and uh, there was this other girl that was um, holding her hand, checking her pulse, and I was just talking to her to make sure that she's alert. She was just lying there, no smile, no tears, nothing. So uh, as I mentioned, police do continue to investigate. They're looking for multiple suspects, multiple shooters. There are a number of working security cameras in the area, so they have a lot of evidence to comb through. There's forensics, investigators on scene, all trying to gather whatever's necessary to figure out who perpetrated this violent crime. And uh, they're asking for help from the community if anyone has any information to come forward and contact them. Dale Minuckduck, thank you.